Uh, what effect does large quantities of cardio have on ability to gain and maintain muscle mass? For example, 15% female to today 19% trains multiple times a day up to two, three, up to three and four times weightlifting and high cardio. Uh, particularly for women, there's a lot of literature out there. Uh, and this is excluding anyone who takes the super supplements, you know, any kind of anabolic steroids or anything like that, because that does change that the training adaptations considerably. Um, but without that kind of support, especially on average with women, the, um, the training adaptations will get nullified because you're doing so much endurance based work. It accumulates fatigue. And without the hormone support there, you start developing more type 1 fibers and the very, very low end of type 2 fibers. With the weight training, you're going to have type 2 fibers anyway, but you're not going to be meeting those high, high threshold um, type 2X fibers, which if you're in weightlifting, you really want those because that's where the power comes from, especially if you're in a weight class sport. We talked about that earlier. But uh, the additional fatigue and repetitive cardio-based movement is actually going to buffer the physiological signaling to keep those type 2 fibers, the high threshold fibers, um, from accumulating or being adapted to.